Power sector of Andhra Pradesh. Power sector of Andhra Pradesh is divided into four categories, namely regulation, generation, transmission, and distribution. Andhra Pradesh Electricity Regulatory Commission APERC is the regulatory body. APJENCO deals with the electricity production and also maintenance, proposes new projects and upgrades existing ones as well. The APJENCO also set up a special purpose vehicle SPV, named as Andhra Pradesh Power Development Company Limited APTL, a joint venture company of APJENCO, with 50% equity and IL and FS 50% equity to set up Krishnapatnam Thermal Power Project Tuks 800 MW. APTRANSCO is set up for transmission of power. Power distribution in the state is divided into three divisions, namely Eastern Power Distribution Corporation Limited APEPTL, Central Power Distribution Corporation Limited APEPTL, and Southern Power Distribution Corporation Limited APEPTL, which distributes the power to the households, agriculture, and the industries. APGENCO, APEPTL, NTPC, and other private firms contribute to the generation of power in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh has become the second state in India to achieve 100% electrification of all households. Weighted average cost of power generation and purchases is INR 3.45 per kWh, which is highest in the country. Andhra Pradesh is also leader by installing 433 NAS electric vehicle charging stations IFS out of 927 NAS installed in the entire country as on 30 June 2020. The newly formed Andhra Pradesh Green Energy Corporation Limited of Jekyll, a 100% subsidiary of Abjenko, will be the trading agency slash licensee for the 10GW solar project in a phased manner and for connecting it to the grid. The 10GW solar projects would be used to meet the entire agriculture power consumption, which will be met during the daytime for nine hours duration daily. Andhra Pradesh is also leading an installation of solar power slash off-grid agriculture pump sets. A renewable energy export policy for Andhra Pradesh was also announced to facilitate the setting up of 120 GW solar, wind and solar wind hybrid energy parks by using 0.5 million acres of land. New and Renewable Energy Development Corporation of Andhra Pradesh in Red Cap, a state-owned company, is actively involved in promoting renewable energy projects in the state. Rooftop solar power cost slash unit in the state are falling below the domestic power tariff. The total installed utility power generation capacity is nearly 24,854 MW in the state as of 31 March 2020. A P-Transco has made long-term power purchase agreements for 19,068 MW as of 31 March 2019. The per capita electricity consumption is 1234 units with 63,143 million kWh gross electricity supplied in the year 2018-19. The performance of Krishnapatnam Thermal Power Station, 2800 MW with supercritical pressure technology, is not satisfactory even after one year commercial operation as the units rarely operate at Ray. Ben. Ray. And Ray. And Ray. And Ray. And Ray. Short term power purchases. AP Discoms purchase regularly from the energy exchange, etc., to meet the peak load and energy shortages. As the power purchases slash sales are done on daily basis without proper planning and optimum utilization of Abjenko power generation capacity, APERC has given guidelines to the DISCOMs for implementation while making short-term less than one-year duration purchases and sales in the year 2022. Non-renewable Thermal power Thermal power plants are based on the fuel coal, gas, diesel, etc. Public sector undertaking in TPC, state-level power generating companies and private firms are engaged in this sector for power generation. Currently operating coal-based thermal power plants in Andhra Pradesh are listed below. Gas fuel based. The following are the list of presently installed combined cycle gas turbine power plants and diesel engine power plants in the state. However, many of these power plants are not operating due to non-availability of natural gas 
and high cost of liquid fuels. Renewable Hydroelectric This is the list of major hydroelectric power plants in Andhra Pradesh. Pumped storage hydroelectricity projects. Solar The state is endowed with vast photovoltaic power potential on its marginally productive lands. The state has total installed solar power capacity of 4,116.1 MW as of 30 June 2021. The state is planning to add 10,050 MW solar power capacity to provide power supply to farming sector during the daytime. Out of 10,050 MW, 6,400 MW capacity at 10 sites were offered for bidding. The winning tariffs are RS 2.50 per unit, which are at least 25% more than the earlier awarded tariffs of RS 2 per unit in November 2020, even after reducing scope of work no HV true. State providing the land on lease, giving state guarantee for the timely payment for the power sold, allowing the state guarantee as security to get financial The AP High Court has stayed the award of contracts to the successful bidders on the grounds that these contracts are excluded from the jurisdiction of APERC in contravention of the Electricity Act, 2003. The state has offered five ultra-mega solar power projects with a total capacity of 12,000 200 MW to developers under renewable power export policy outside the state. Wind power. The state has total installed wind power capacity of 4,083.57 MW as on 30 June 2021. Other utility power plants. In addition to above projects, there are nearly 103 MW small hydro plants nearly 490 MW bagasse, industrial and municipal waste, biomass cogeneration, and biomass-based power projects, nearly 78.79 mini-power plants, grid-connected and nearly 67.20 MW other grid-connected plants, based on isolated gas wells, etc., in private sector. These power plants are not covering captive power capacity in various industries that are not grid-connected. In addition, there are innumerable diesel generator sets installed in the state for standby supply and emergency power supply needs during power outages. Transmission System The state has well-spread transmission system. AP Transco slash discoms owned and operated transmission lines from 400 kV to 11 kV are 231,127 circuit kilometers, excluding the HE lines owned and operated by PGSIL in the state. For importing and exporting power, the state grid is well interconnected with adjoining western and eastern regional grids in addition to adjoining state grids. The spread of high voltage transmission lines equals 11 kV is such that it can form a square matrix of area 1.93 km2 i.e., on average, at least one HD line within 0.7 km vicinity in 160,205 km2 total area of the state. Discoms owned and operated LT lines below 11 kV are 292,158 circuit kilometers. It represents that there is at least one HT or LT line availability on average within the vicinity of 306 meters in the entire state area. The state has 3,183 NAS substations equals 33 kV, which represents one substation in every 50.33 km2 area, on average, i.e. one substation within 3.6 km distance on average. However, the maximum peak load met is 9,453 MW as of 14 October 2018. Huge installed capacity of the transmission network and the substations is being underutilized with low demand factor.